I've found the hub, but time is ticking away. I have 132 hours till human extinction. I am Wolf Magic Gaming, and this is Population Zero. All right, so we are back into the game now. Some time has passed in real life, so I have drastically taken off time in what I can do here in this world. But as we, uh, as we can see, we left off at the hub, and we are going to talk to this gentleman, Captain Evans, to uh, hopefully get our our world moving along here. Oh, okay, one or two. All right. I'm listening. What's going on here? I don't know why that was the voice of this woman that I'm playing as, but apparently... What's going on here? <laughs> Is it? Hmm. I haven't seen you here before. It's been a long time since the crash, and the new ones are still arriving. It's a hell of a mess on this planet. What? I've just landed on my skate park literally an hour ago, and... Listen. I understand that you're confused, but unfortunately, I don't have any time to explain to every colonist what the heck is going on here. Here you go. Take this short note. I suppose it shall answer most of your questions. Thanks. Is it 40 minutes? Yes, there are still 20 minutes. But they ended. Okay, thanks. I, I don't get that last part, but maybe I'm missing something. All right. So we got a note now. And... Ah, we're supposed to get ready for nightfall. I gotcha. Where's this note at? Let's read this. A day on the planet lasts seven Earth days. At night, all humans mutate for some unknown reason, becoming beings without intelligence. Voids. To avoid this, you need to get into one of the escape pods located in the hub. This is only available to those who are actively involved in the life of the hub. Carrying out orders from Radov, Tenush, and other authorized persons. Okay, so there's our lore right there. We have seven days, seven of our days, but it's one day here till nightfall, and then we turn into a void. And to avoid that, we gotta get into the escape pods. To get in the escape pods, we have to be a little errand lady. All right. Okay, well, let's see what this is about over here. Let's just start exploring around. I want to check this place out and see what we have to work with, and then hopefully we can start kind of moving along, hitting new quests, moving the story along, and I guess getting the hub ready for night. We're on the planet, Kepler. Ah, 438B. Second Earth, of course. We're at the hub. All right, Artemis. Yes, yes, yes. We got all that. Here we go, the crash. The SHTX-5 class vessel, flagship of the Artemis mission, mission objective, settlement of the planet, Kepler, 438B. The circumstances of the crash are unknown. Of course they are. They're always unknown. All right, this guy's probably got a lot of info for me, but that seems a little boring right now, and I'd like to do more fun stuff. I want this guy keeps drawing me in over here. Does he have anything I actually want? We'll see about that, but maybe we can uh, get something cool. Oh, banker. So this is where I can store shit. Cool. I don't know what I need and don't need at this point, so I'm going to hold on to everything. I was checking out these crates earlier, and I wasn't able to open them. Resource packages. Okay. Open. Okay. Cool. Got some... Bractus resin, of course. Scout belt, well, we'll equip that. Right? What does this do? Equip. Okay, I think that's equipped now. Alright, we're gonna actually just open all of these. I'm sure there's some good stuff in here. Novice. Novice survival package. We're novices now. And small. Where do I need to go now? Over this way. So we talked to Captain. We need to start doing tasks for people if we want to secure a pod for the night. 
I don't know. What what's it like to be a void? This guy. Radov. You look a lot like Captain Evans. Hmm. Maybe they're related. Alright, Radov. How can I help you? Oh great. Take a walk around the area and grab some tissue samples from void corpses. I don't know why I read it sarcastic, but Radov's a very sarcastic man. If you knew him, you'd understand. Void tissue samples, clear enough, right? The void are massive humanoid creatures. Humans transforming into them if they don't get to sleep on time. Why? I guess it's probably because of the planet for some reason. We're gonna move that along. Okay, let's open up this quest menu here. We did this, do I get anything? It just lets me know I did it. Cool. Steps of salvation. To win the session, here we go. Help the hub get ready for nightfall. Okay, then I guess I gotta do this. Collect void tissue samples. Perfect. Now those are all out there. I saw all these signs. Ooh. Okay, so I can craft out a bonfire. I assume, where's my meat? Uh, in here? Craft. I don't know any recipes. So I have to upgrade here first to be able to make meat, I would assume. Wherever that is, is that meat? Jerky. Ah, roasted grilled meat. Here we go. Yeah, I want that because it's the one thing I don't have a pretty good access to right now, I think, is food. But meat was probably the harder option to go with because now I'm going to have to fight those creatures. Or maybe kill the ute, but I ain't killing no ute. Or yut. I wasn't quite sure on the name. Alright, let's go ahead and make this. I can craft one. Is it two to one ratio? Oh no, I need four. And the root stick. Great. Alright, I think the other important thing right now is to actually figure out what I can eat. If you eat raw, it will poison you. Use for crafting and cooking. So maybe I should have made the other things since I have so many of these. Do I have any points? I do. Right, I'm going to spend it on this. I think I should be able to make some of this now and hopefully get my food up. Two of the roasted Jero fights looked like they filled me up and I was just under halfway health. Alright, I just went through my tech tree. I kept calling it a skill tree. I guess it's the same thing. And just starting to get stuff. I figured I'd need some weapons and building materials for when I go out into the world doesn't tell me how to make them, so I'll have to go into the crafting menu to check that out. And I got this desert suit here. Let's go ahead and get back into oops, the tissue samples. Perfect. There we go. Now, I could probably go deeper into here, but I'm getting antsy and I just want to go... Hopefully this isn't a horrible mistake, but let's just get out into this. This is a big-ass world we have to discover, and I don't got that much time. Ooh, what's this? Unknown object. It looks like a rock. A large boulder. I was correct. Alright, that was much better. Let's get this guy, get some meat, and then we'll be able to cook him up soon. That's going to be more food for us right there, too. Should grab these guys. Unknown object. I love it. Satisfying. Now, I haven't really checked out fall damage yet, I guess, in a sense, because I haven't fallen far enough. 
Let's let's try it. Screw it. Here we go. Okay. That did a decent amount, and that was a pretty far fall, so I feel okay, I guess. Oh, this motherfucker's over here attacking the Ute. I'm gonna come get you, boy. I don't want none of that. These are my friends. Come on. Come here, you. Come here, you. Come here, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't mess with my boys. These are my people. What up, kids? We good? Oh, we so good. Oh, look at this. Is this what I'm getting a sample from? Why don't I drink that water? What am I doing here? Oh, I got it. Alright, so I think I actually cleared that cave out now. That's good to know, that I don't think I'm going to have to run to all these different points. And that these are just areas where they could be. So, I think we should hit up... I mean, obviously this one, it's right here. I'm hoping at some point there's going to be a way to move around this world a little bit faster. I assume there's going to be uh, some sort of fast travel. But you never know. A vehicle would be nice. Hoverboard. Jetpack. Take a jetpack. Sure, we all would take a jetpack. Alright. Nice little winter area. I wonder if I can mine anything. I am going to be curious as to crafting and what that's gonna look like. I'm gonna try to avoid making crazy bases and just get little outposts set up so I don't spend hours on end building something that's not necessary. So we're at the void. These guys are gonna probably be all around me and wanna start some stuff. I like how they lay there looking all cute. Think I can run in? Get him. He was like don't look at me. <laughs> that's my business. Uh oh. Faster, run around the faster, hit it, hit it. Did I get it? Alright, use some health. It's it's so weird. I feel like there's a slight delay with when I hit it to when it actually applies, so I didn't know if I was using my health, but I think we got him. I think we're okay. Ooh. Oh no! Oh no! I used the health right as it knocked me, and now, even though I have health, I can't get back up. And I guess I'm gonna die soon? I'm just gonna let it die. I ain't killing myself. Nah, I don't know about this. Yep. Oh, and I get... I lose all my shit right there. Okay. I guess let's go to the cocoon spawn point. It's probably going to be the closest. Oh, here's my stuff. So I'm not naked anymore. It went with me. Perfect. But I do want to go back over there. It's not that far. And see if I actually dropped anything. Yes, I sure did. Or I at least lost it. Ooh. I see a person running out there. That could be a real person. Should we try to make friends? Ha. Uh, I'll let him do his thing for now. I'll let him do his thing for now. So, all this looks interesting. This is definitely... Well, I was going to say some dead wizard, but that's a creature. But it does look like it's wearing a cape and has some fancy little boots, but I guess that 
those are, those are wings and fancy little boots. just get my stuff. I'm going to get my stuff. Once I do that, I'll feel more comfortable. I think I'm almost to it. myself going back to the cocoon so we died again I'm determined to get my gear though we're gonna head back out over there I know what the problem is I understand that I'm going into a very cold situation and not prepared at all but this time I think that I'm gonna go ahead and try to go up the way I did before which was around through here and through I guess yeah that north east side Let's go ahead and try that. Um, that doesn't seem like a good situation. <laughs> Just gonna try to avoid the, the flying guy over there. Alright, now we should be, like, right near them. And if there's one guy, I might be able to handle him, but... Let's get this. Take all, please. Thank you. I should just get out of here, right? What's this? Oh, this is my other death package. Get that. Take it. Alright, we're getting out of here. I got my stuff. Temperature's dropping. I don't want to lose that health and then have to fight these guys again. And die again. Uh, so we got half of our void tissues now. Let's go ahead and head to somewhere a little bit warmer. And sneak in the rest of those five tissue samples and get this quest completed. Oh, my little buddies are attacking one of these guys again. I gotta go help out. I'm sure this is going to get old pretty quick, but not right now. Damn things won't learn to give up. You don't mess with these boys. That's how we run it. Good job, guys. Looks like you all made it. Good luck. We got two guys over here. I think this is probably a void sample, so I'm gonna try to sneak it. There's gonna be hopefully four more laying around here. There's one guy over there, maybe one up there. I'll run around the side. I know there's gonna be more of these guys laying around at some point, but the more I can sneak it, the better. If you'll notice that in the top left corner of the screen, there's like two little faces and a slider bar. My slider is slowly moving towards that, I guess, more evil looking face uh, each time I die. So I think, I don't, I don't know how many deaths it is, but once I reach a certain amount of deaths, I, uh, I think turn into one of these void creatures. Again, you know what's up. Kaval. Damn, more of them. Alright. 
like I said, that happened real quickly that I'm that I'm just leaving them alone now. Come on. This guy's probably coming at me. Yep. Oh god. Here we go again. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Alright, we're just gonna kill ourselves. I've made it back to my corpse. Picked everything up. On the way here, I did find some more, uh the void samples so now I can just run back and deliver it which is still gonna be a little bit of a run I wonder if I guess now's the best time to try it I didn't see fast travel no it was worth a shot And we have finally made it back to the hub. That was a, uh, a lot of walking to get those 10 samples and a lot of dying too, and that's mostly my fault. You guys need anything else? Yeah, we also need thorium for the reactor. We're almost out of meat. Can you hunt? Oh, great, hunting. Okay, and getting thorium, which would be probably resources and stuff. Meat for the hub. We can do all this. Let's look at... Ooh, we got a new perk. Let's go check out the perks. There we go. Health regeneration when full plus three points per second. I like it. What did we do to get that? Just completing the quest, maybe? Perfect, though. We do need that health regen. I don't know... How did it say it worked? Health regeneration, when full. How do I use my perk? Maybe we'll figure that out soon enough. And then let's check out the quest right now. What does it want me to do? Meat. Needs 15 meat. Grilled meat. And then they want roasted meat. All right. We can start, I think, working on some of the meat. I should have enough to make, I don't know, a couple. So, if you're curious, the reason I couldn't find the flask earlier is because I was clicking on one of these, uh, like, sub-menus I had open instead of all. So, that's the, uh, that's the reason why. Alright, so we're heading back into the world now. We're gonna get this meat. I can get this thorium. We're gonna help these guys out. Hopefully, it'll lead me to getting some better equipment. officially entered a new biome. Alright, so we weren't in the desert before. I don't know what we were calling that, but we're in a desert now, so it'd be nice to get those desert clothes soon. Ooh, look at this little guy. Ooh, oh boy, oh boy. I don't think, and my temperature is too high. I was not prepared for this. I think I need a have anything to help with my health. No, and this guy's gonna attack me. And I'm just gonna go ahead and die. Yeah, this one's gonna be a lot about death, I guess, this episode, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing, so we're gonna go ahead and kill myself. Because I doubt anyone's coming along to save me.
Well, this might be a problem. I'm gonna have to kill some yuts if I want that leather. Ah. Uh, we were supposed to be friends. I knew, I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was just sitting there waiting for me. Oh, I can get yup pelt from searching their holes and I don't have to kill them. I'm much more on board with that. And then, I mean, I'll just, like I said, pick up the remains. Let's see if I can help out with this guy. Nice, we got them. And now they're pissed at me, so I'm just gonna... Just gonna get out of here. Alright, we're back in the desert. I want to get my stuff real quick before I overheat. My biggest concern is... Dying. <laughs> that's always my biggest concern, that's all I seem to do. But, in a world this harsh, that's, I guess, what's bound to happen. My meter's slowly moving closer towards the void, but... I'm more than halfway, so if I can limit my deaths now, I think I should be okay for a little bit. Shit, now I'm hurting, see? Critical overheating, I'm taking heavy damage over time. Let's see if I can get out of here before it kills me. I don't want to die again. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. And I died. All right, so I think that we're gonna go ahead and end it on that note. So much death, so little time. Hopefully on the next one, I will be able to get more stuff done. I think right now I'm gonna kind of run through and see if I can knock this quest out and move us along a little bit quicker. But as always, if you've made it this far, thank you so much, and I will see you on the next one.